Slani everybody, I am Corbus Bruxelinicos and this is Starting of Solitary. This week we're discussing about being paid to teach magic or to teach the craft and whether or not that's acceptable and whether or not that makes you uh, more of a witch than with other ways of learning. And my opinion will be pretty short because it is pretty similar to the two other hosts that already gave their opinion and it is that it is acceptable but it has it, it has to be fair be sure not to be scammed I don't see it differently to paying for a certain worship or yearly curse or anything but with the difference that is quite more difficult to prove that everything that you've been learning is effective that first part and a little bit less difficult to check out but still more difficult than with for example uh, official curses to check if the tradition that they're claiming to teach or the techniques that they're claiming to teach are traditional and he did everything or he or she sorry if they did uh, anything that they claim to have done to have learned in what tradition uh, why when that's a little bit more difficult to check out although there are some traditions that keep check of their lineage so you can check if the really a, a priest or have a certain um, charge or degree within the tradition or whatever so the thing is that when there's money you will find scammers and there will be lots of people who make like some random workshop with someone famous and will tell that they're like their student and will try to teach things to you when they've been practicing like three years so rule number one be careful but beside that do what you think is useful and fulfills you I would prefer someone who donate their time as spiritual service which I understand that some people cannot do that or wouldn't do that but yeah and if not books testing uh, reading learning practicing I mean I don't think you're less of a witch if you learn on your own I just, I just think that learning on your own is more difficult um, you can learn from books and then apply that to practice but I think that's like learning a musical instrument which is something I'm doing right now uh, I never got to learn playing keyboards on my own I tried, I watched tutorials, I bought books I just... I just need personal guidance and I'm learning now so I think it's the same, some people can do it on their own because they have a kind of an innate talent um, some other people need a teacher some prefer 50-50 half and half and everything's okay just be sure that you're not scammed that you're not taken advantage of and all these things that may happen when you not only go for a t-shirt but you pay them and especially if it's big amounts of money you should be especially careful um, and make all the background checks that you need and make sure that that's really what you want before going for it and that's it I don't think one is more of a witch than the other what I think is that religion, not magic, shouldn't be taught in exchange of uh, exorbitant 
amounts of money because I think that is a disservice for the gods and goddesses. But besides that, I understand that some people prefer to be paid, just don't be abusive. And also be understanding that maybe some people can't pay huge amounts of money or a certain amount of money every month. So uh, be open to be paid in other ways, to be paid with services, to be paid with something that is not money, like foods or other types of donations that are useful to you and they can afford for whatever reason. And there's a card there and yeah, this, this, this room it's not good to not being disturbed. But yeah, that's it. Please tell me what you think in the comments down below. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see each other next Wednesday. May the day you turn the way, may the gods and non-gods watch over you all. And bye.